Maverica, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Taino. I'm your host, Priscilla Colon, co-founder and creative here at Casarito, where our mission is to promote the Taino language and culture. So today's episode, it's going to be about the HJ dilemma. That is, are there Taino words that start with silent H's, or do they actually sound like ha huh at the beginning? So let's take a look at these two Taino words. If you're a Spanish speaker, you know the first one is huracán. In English, that is hurricane. The second one, if you're a Spanish speaker, is hamaca. In English, is hammock. What's the difference? The H at the beginning. In the Spanish, the H is silent. We never hear it. In English, you hear the H H sound. So if these two things come from Taino, did the Taino pronounce it as a ha, huh? or did the Taino have a silent H like in Spanish? So many of us researchers who are working to rediscover and revitalize the Taino language contend that the Taino words actually had the ha huh sound at the beginning. So huracán was actually huracán and hamaca was actually hamaca. Well, how do we know? In order to know that, we have to go back in history. So I'm going to give you just a brief history of the Spanish H. So, surprise number one, the H in Spanish was not always silent. So how do we know that? So when the H got to Spain, craziness ensued. Spain wasn't even a country. It was a bunch of different kingdoms. In all of these kingdoms, different languages were spoken. There was Celtic influence from the north, French, uh, Germanic influence as well. And in the south, you're going to have influences from Arabic speaking Muslims and you had Ladino speaking Jews. Because of its proximity to Africa, you had Northern Africans coming and going as well. So there were a lot of different languages there. So the F's and the H's used to be interchanged. So you get crazy things like the names of Fernandez and Hernandez, they're the same thing. <laughs> it just one has an F and one has an H. Um, so it really just depended on how you pronounce things. So people were pronouncing things differently all the time. Certain words even had a H huh or a silent H sound and they were the same words. So I'll give you an example, halar and alar, they both mean to pull. F's became H's, H's became F's, some H's were silent, some H's were pronounced, so it's a real mess. The other thing that happened was at the beginning, the educated or elite uh, pronounced the H with a H huh sound. And then all of a sudden they decided that was uneducated while the less educated folks continued pronouncing the H. Huh. So what does this all have to do with Taino? Well, let's jump ahead to 1492. Here comes Columbus, an Italian by the way, with a crew of people from the southern part of Spain. We know for a fact that many of the H's were still being pronounced as ha huh up until the mid 1500s. So it's after Columbus's first sails to the New World. The first Spanish dictionary was not even created until 1611. Even in that first dictionary, many of the words in the dictionary are actually the same words with different spellings. So there was no real exact writing system for Spanish either. Most of the people that set sail were from the uh, area called Andalusia, Andalusia. And in Andalusia specifically, they refused to change the, the way they pronounce things. So this means that in the midst of this language turmoil in Spanish, they are then trying to write down what they hear in Taino. So linguists can actually point in the right direction by breaking down each word into its word parts. So let's take a look at the word parts in hurricane or huracan. Hu, that word part, stands for breath or air. Hura actually means wind. And we know that can means center. So huracan literally means center of the wind. Totally makes sense, right? And we hear that 
hu sound in names such as yuka hu, which is a semi or ancestral spirit who provided us the yuka for us to eat. And yuka hu actually kind of means the breath of the yuka. Yuka hu and other semis are not quite the same as a Christian god. They are more like venerated ancestors. If you want more information on Taino Brujeria, spirituality, uh, espiritismo, I highly recommend that you follow Bruja Cat. She has an awesome series tackling each and every single one of the Taino semis. So next, let's tackle hammock, hamaca. How do we know that it's actually ha and not just Ah? Well, let's break it down to its word parts. The word part ha appears at the beginning of words for anything that hangs. Okay, so we know a hammock hangs, so that starts with a ha. The word part mako actually means woven. So you put it together and hamaka refers to a hanging woven bed. And again, how do we know this? Because there are other words that have that ha, which means hanging, uh, in them. So there is a word for a hanging basket, and that is haba. And the Taino would create these baskets, some were smaller, and they had um, either fiber cords or cotton, and they would put them around themselves, almost like a little handbag. And they would carry tools and food and things with them on their journeys. There were also some other very big haba, and those were used to carry things like spears or um, arrows, much bigger items. Even their hamacas were carried in haba. So now let's take a look at everything that you've learned today. Hu, breath or air. Hura, wind. Huracan, hurricane. Ha, that hangs. Mako, woven. Hamaka, hammock. Haba, hanging basket. I'm having a blast learning all of these cool new tidbits about Taino, and I hope that you are too. Don't forget to write in the comments any topic ideas that you have and I'd be happy to make a video for them if I can. Also, check out our children's books to teach kids a little bit of Taino. Uh, I'll have all of that information down below in the description. Thank you again for joining us. I know that together we can bring back Taino. Taikaraya guaitiao nagu.